All right, so today I'm going to record myself doing some makeup. Um, for a reading of a poem that I wrote. You know, I say poem, but like, I don't know, I feel like all my little writings and stuff are little stories of like, shit. <laughs> of moments and experiences and life and fantasies that play within my own mind. Um, yeah, so I don't know what makeup I'm gonna do. I'm gonna figure that out as we go along, but yeah, let's see how this goes, because <laughs> I'm a dork. I have a little face paint thing. Ignore this one. Just don't don't look at the yellow one. But yeah, <laughs> it's like I love it, but then like I fucked up and I like mixed the color in there. Shouldn't have done that. Still haven't cleaned it. I have a fucking palette since like I don't know Halloween a few years ago. Um. Yeah. <sighs> so, I don't know. Because I'm trying to think, like, do I want to do, like, a natural... When I say natural, I don't necessarily mean, like, a, like, a natural, like, nude... I don't know why I pulled my face like this. <laughs> I don't... Not, like, a natural, like, nude, like... How it just like looks like I have nothing on type of thing. I mean like, am I gonna be pink? Am I gonna be green? Am I gonna be my skin color? My, that's what I mean by natural. <laughs> like if I'm just gonna do like eye makeup or if I'm gonna go like full on because I I can never decide. Um. But yeah, so as I said before. If you guys watched the first video I am put up, it's like I'm going to be doing a bunch of, like, different things and, like, uh, thematic readings, which is why I'm like, what am I going to do? Because I'm going to... What I'm doing this one for is White Widow. Um, you're basically going to see the process of me doing the makeup for that reading. And... Yeah, I don't... I don't... I don't know... I don't know which one to do, like what I want to do. Cause, yeah. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see what pops up. Where do I need, I need to wet my sponge. I'm not gonna do it with the brush. I'm doing it with the brush. Where's this brush? Where's this brush? I am doing with the brush. I'm like talking to myself in chat. Um, as we have at some point in here, very loud entrance, it is my father coming home from work. Even though I told him I was going to be recording and stuff, but he don't care. So, um, looking to do something and I forgot what it is that I found it. It's a mirror. It's a portal. I just opened a portal. I'm just playing. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. What is this? Let's go with this. I'm gonna close my notebook real quick because I'm makeup is just gonna fucking get everywhere. Um, but yeah. So like, um, oh, I'm also on Twitch. So like, if you're like, fuck you. I just want to hear it. You can go on there. I just realized, because I'm slow, um, Twitch deletes your shit after like two weeks. Didn't know that! Now I do! Which is also why I was like, ooh, maybe I should do it somewhere where like you can keep them and like continue to see them. 
um, since Twitch is more like of a live service kind of thing, where like, you know, like there's where you're gonna like hear them first and everything, but then you won't get to see all the pretty makeup because that's only gonna be on here. Um, yeah, I was like, what the fuck? So besides me doing makeup, I will start doing my makeup. So, should I do a sponge? Should I do a brush? I need to wash my brushes. Don't judge me. Um, <laughs> don't judge me. I need to wash this shit. I also need to... Oh, shit. I'm going to drop my phone. I've damn near dropped my phone a few times already. I need to, like... Hold on. <laughs> Wait, I can't do that because... Ah! So, I, I have a song in my head by Kuko. I don't know if you guys listen to Kuko. You should love him. Um, and I was singing it, and I was like, <laughs> can't do that. Um, y'all got tips on how a girl can be playing music, like, copyrighted music, while she does this shit, because I love listening to music, and it's so weird now listening to music while I'm doing all of this. Let me know. Also, don't judge me on my application, or anything that I'm doing, because I am not a professional. However, I am just here. To do this and have a good time doing this. I was gonna use my sponge, but then I realized something. So it's been like really hot and humid. And like I said, I had to like wash my shit and I don't think I washed it properly. And my sponge was like melted onto my foundation. I didn't know that was possible. And so yeah, that was that was awesome. So you know, maybe this is the universe's way of telling me I should just stick to using a brush. To paint my pretty canvas of a face. If you're wondering why I'm going to shade lighter, I guess I am gonna be doing the like super themed makeup thing. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I keep trying to sing it, but I shouldn't. But I want to. Mm -mm -mm, can't even hum the beat because, ah! This sucks. <laughs> and, and I can't just listen to it and play it because I... You guys seen like all those um don't sing, don't dance, don't hum challenges? Shit, I love watching those. Because I fail. I fail every time. Like, I cannot not go along with it. Um... I was putting this somewhere there and yeah so I can't like not not go along with it it tweaks me out I don't know I'm always like I have to like hum it or tap along I'm looking for my chapstick and yeah I don't know <laughs> um. But yeah, I don't know. So like for me, it's like even if I were playing music on like my headphones and shit, it would suck because I would still try to be like singing and humming along. Which I shouldn't do. <sighs> what colors am I going to use? Oh, I like this one. Okay, so does anyone else have that issue with, like, eyeshadow when, like, like, the fallout from, like, the brush and shit ends up on the other colors? Because I feel like that happens to me, especially with, like, when you use, like, a really, like, smoky color, it ends up on all the other ones. I don't know. 
Maybe it's just me. Maybe my brushes aren't clean. I think that might be the problem. Um, so, White Widow is the story of two star-crossed lovers. And I'm just kidding, that's the plot for Romeo and Juliet. One of my favorites. Helpless, romantic, tragic, love with unavailable people. <laughs> Also, hella unavailable emotionally at times. Because I am seeing why am I like this? Um, no, so it's basically a like um, it's a story. It's like a mini story of like when you fall in love, in lust. When you fall in lust. Let's say that, you know, you're you're at that stage where it's like ah, you about it, but you don't know if you about it, but like you know you about it, you just don't want to admit you about it type of shit. Um also I curse like a fucking sailor. So pardon me. Um if you are under legal drinking age, don't be watching my shit. Because I'm going to say a lot of things like a fucking sailor. Because, again, I curse like a sailor. Um, I wonder where that term came from. Curse like a sailor. I don't know. I'm going to research that. I'm literally sitting here wiping down all these things. Wow. I lost my mirror amidst all this crazy. So, yeah. It's basically about that. It's like, you know, we're... we're so for like the rush of things and like we end up getting lost within that rush and we're, we're like i don't know i feel like <sighs> so and i said this on like the twitch but i was like i love love and all that bullshit because like i i, I was talking to, about something a little different though i was talking more of like instant gratification because I was like totally not feeling myself and I was like being really down and like I was like okay come on like it, it's been a week you're tweaking um and I was like not feeling myself right and I was like that does not like me why am I tweaking and I was like you know it's it's the whole instant gratification thing we're so used to wanting something to happen immediately that when it doesn't you know and and i also blame like <laughs> i kind of blame social media for that um because it's like okay like look at i i do a lot of comparison like you post something on like ig and you immediately know like oh people like it or not you post something over here, over there, and it's like, it, it's an instant type of thing versus like, when you don't see immediate response and just like, why? <laughs> and I don't know, I get like super disheartened and I'm like, calm down, LV, calm down. Like you're tweaking. Also, bitch, be struggling with like mental health. So, um, you know, just trying to remember myself, not to psych myself out about it and just keep pushing and keep doing shit. Like one of my friends says all the time, Rosie Gold, she's like, you know, stay strong, keep fighting, like keep pushing, like all that. And I'm like, I know, I know. And I keep like trying to remind myself and like all my friends are always super supportive and like, I know, but bitch be getting angry real quick for no reason. Where is my thingamabob? So I can't find my thingamabob. So I guess I'm calling it a thingamabob. It's like, what's this white? It's it's like a lipstick that I bought because I was gonna be a um, galakita a few years ago for Halloween, and I can't. I found it. <laughs> All that searching. Um, ya lo encontré. Yeah. Aquí. <laughs> um, that's my mama's voice. I love her. She helps me find everything. 
because I don't know how to look for things. My eyes be like I would lose my head if it were not on my shoulders. Oh wait, I already lose my fucking mind every other day. Haha, -ha, jokes on me. We're just gonna use my fingers because I can't find a brush. Again, not a pro. Don't do 90% of what I'm doing the way that I'm doing it. Um <laughs> I just kind of like doing it. I mean, makeup. I mean, you know, too, but makeup. Um, also, I am going to be speaking a lot of Spanglish because that's just who I am as a person. Um, Mexican. And I don't know, like, to me olvidan las palabras. So then like, me trabo and I'm like, oh, what's that word? And then I'm like, oh, and then I'm like, oh wait, that was in Spanish, whatever. So, I don't know, y'all might end up learning Spanish by the time you're watching all my shit. Who knows? But yeah, so. <sighs> Just had to use my fingers because I think I threw that brush out because it was no good no more. Um, also, I have very bad lighting. I need to buy, like, a giant light or something. I don't know. Something. I'm gonna figure something out. I'm, I'm very... As we go along, we'll see. Am I gonna do... <laughs> oh, mm, can't do that either. You know, this is fucked up. This is all eyeshadow that is on this brush because a girl be slacking. So that means we're just gonna have to use that for what color is on there. It's a day. <laughs> You know, this is going to greatly remind me of washing my brushes. And I will not, I will not, I will not buy more. I would just clean these. God, I really hope I do. <laughs> see, I'm going to figure this out because I'm holding a mirror so I can see myself doing it. But then, like, I forget that I'm, like, recording, so, like, it's, like, I don't know where to look. It confuses me. <laughs> I'm going to figure this out, child, I swear. First, what am I trying to do? Da -da 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 Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, it looks really pretty. It looks really green. Um, but yeah, so White Widow is if you guys don't know what White Widow is, um, it's a type of weed. The poem story thingy I released on four twenty and it's it's about that like first lust and when you like realize like oh i may be into this person but like how am i into this person type of shit and i can use it for this color you know it's like it's like a vibe almost that you feel and you, you become like, I don't want to say infatuated, but kind of, oh no, there's someone coming in. That's my dad. I'm like, I already said, I'm going to pause this because he's going to yell. So two seconds. So no yelling. Yeah, 
I just be winging it sometimes with these things. Um, but yeah. So yeah, that's that's what White Widow's about. It's about like the the again instant gratification, right? It, it's all about like the immediate response that you obtain when you're like newly into someone and you're just like yes, like. I'm vibing like this is what it is. It's also kind of a bit about like mixed signals and stuff. Cause like, you know, when, when you like recently fall for someone, you're like super apprehensive. Cause you're just like, Ooh, you feeling this? Are you not feeling this? Like what, what are we doing type of shit? So if you're wondering what the fuck I just did, I grabbed a napkin on, I put it on my tumbler that like has ice in it because it's like sweating right sweaty <laughs> you say it in spanish el vaso está sudando um and because i wet it and i'm like angrily cleaning this brush <laughs> because i don't know how to clean my brushes it's so bad um yeah so it's it's basically about that and like just the whole motions of like falling for someone new and um you know how i say like uh, there's there's always one that catches feelings or whatever and like how all that it, it it's about like okay what if what if it that's not how the story goes what if it's both parties are kind of like damn i'm digging you but damn i'm scared fam like i don't know do I want to like you? Like, shit like that. Um, but, yeah. So, and it was so funny, because I was like, oh, I don't know which one I'm going to do first. Like, what am I going to start with? And I was like, oh, let's do White Widow. It was also one of my favorites, because I love using, like, this green for the makeup. Um, My whole like i already told y'all what white widow is and i was like oh that would be perfect because it looks like you know when you're burning out of a lot or some shit and i was like wow i am something else because estoy grabando because se escucha muy fuerte he mad because it's hot in here i don't blame him it's hot in here but I'm recording. <laughs> he's like pacing around because I'm like, you know, I'm recording, don't scream. And he's like, <laughs> um, yeah, but <sighs> it's, it's one of those things, right? Um, I also want to going back to this whole like. Uh, I dig you, but I don't want to dig you type of sentiment shit. Um, it's really hard to get to my near 70 year old father understand what it is that I do and all that. And he's like, who's she talking to right now? Um, but yeah. Oh my god. Um Yeah. It's interesting. It's very interesting. You know, I'm gonna throw some purple in here. What does purple have to do with it? Absolutely nothing. But I'm gonna throw some purple in here. Maybe some gray. Do I have gray? I don't think I have a gray. I think I threw the one palette that had the gray out. I know what I'm gonna use, but I don't leave my brush on it. So I have this thing, it's like a body paint thing that I got off of Amazon. And like it only comes off with like oil or whatever. Um but I really like it. And it's probably what I'm gonna be using. For most of these. 
Um, but no, I totally just effed that up. I'm gonna have to get some brushes specifically for this after I said I wasn't gonna wear them. Um, also, I have very weird maniacal laughter at times because I am not, I am something else. Um, so we're going in. Um, and then, so back to the whole thing, I am a millennial, um, and I don't know, I have, I have many interesting conversations with a bunch of my friends, and like, one of them, shout out to one of my boys, um, he, you know, we were having a conversation, and he said something like super super beautiful that i was just like yo i feel that right because like we we've all been there like when you're after you've been single for a while and you're just like yo i'm really just not trying to go through this shit again like i'm not trying to be hurt no more i really want this to work out blah 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 you're you're very apprehensive and you like unintentionally build up a wall right of like oh my god what if they like me what if they don't like me like blah 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 whatever whatever and then like you even end up um and it's one of those things where like you just you kind of just end up like okay do i am i am i like really ready for this am i scared or not blah 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 um you know i always be saying i'm not gonna do something and i end up doing it i'm working on my blending skills but they're kind of crap right now i ain't even gonna lie i'm gonna add more green to that uh where did i throw the brush teeny little mm. almost did it again Um, bum, 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 bum. what's public domain happy birthday right i could sing happy birthday every time <laughs> um yeah i'm trying to figure out i don't know y'all got tips on how i can play music let me know please um please um yeah because please <laughs> I'm a strong mean I do want to play music uh. <sighs> um that is not that what that's for but you are I'm gonna use you. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't know, it's very interesting. The whole like newly being in love. But like I said, he said something really beautiful. He said, you know, they say happiness and sanity are an impossible combination. Maybe that's why I'm going crazy over her. And I was just like, Oh my god, my heart! Oh, that's so beautiful! I was like, damn, boo, your man could never... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I was just like, that's that's really sweet. Like, I love... One, I love it when my friends are in love because that shit just throws me over the moon because I'm a moon baby. I'm a, I'm a cancer. I'm a lovely little emotional water sign. And I'm just like, I love it when people are in love. It makes me very happy. 
Um, and, you know, it got me to thinking, like, you know, we, we all feel that, like, that scare of, like, Dude, like, I don't want to like you, but damn, my heart don't shut the fuck up type of shit. And I'm just like, oh, what do I do? Que hago, Dios mio. With all, like, this emotion. Because, like, feeling is scary. I don't know. Maybe I'm just insane. But feeling is very, I don't know. I, like, I'm such a fucking control freak at times. Like, all the time. Um, like, I don't like not having control over a situation or, like, not necessarily over a situation, but more so, like, I don't like not being in control of me and what I'm feeling and like not knowing how to express it like it psychs myself out I guess that's also one of the reasons why I started writing because I was like oh well what I don't know how to say on here like I can I can say on paper which like you know it, it's like a double-edged sword because usually I end up like not really voicing how I feel or like if I do it comes off a little too strong and I like I'm like okay well that backfired how do I get this to un fuck up and I'm like damn I can't and you know I just end up writing about it I make it into little stories right little fictional stories um because I'm like, and and it's also like, how does the saying go? Where like, there's always um, there's always three versions to the truth: yours, theirs, and the truth. Or there's no, there's always three versions to every story: yours, theirs, and the truth lies somewhere in the middle, or some shit like that. And I'm just like, I I feel that because I'm like, yo, like real shit. That's true. That's true. There's multiple versions to every tale. And oftentimes it's not what is like readily said. Um, but yeah, I don't know. And when he said that, I was just like, I'm, I'm very, I'm very a believer of like, oh my God, this is a sign type of shit. Like I'm, I'm very superstitious. Right. And I was like, I read that and I was like, oh my God, this is a sign. Like I need to do White Widow as my first reading and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And... Sorry, I just paused very weirdly because my phone is about to die. And I was just like, okay, so what, how am I going to like really explain this? Or am I just going to be like, oh yeah, it's just about weed. It's not, it's like I said, a love story type of thing. Um... But... Yeah, um, and and it, it takes on that role of like, oh my god, like I don't know how to live, right? Like, it's like that exasperating type of new love and all that shit. Um, also, for a lot of like my makeups and stuff, I do very like, I am not a human. I am like, I don't know, some little creature from like a fairy tale or like a um, fairy tale or like a freaking fantasy realm thing, which is why Driz is why me. Um, 
right because i'm like very like woodland creature type of thing um also fun fact anytime you guys see a bitch with a flower crown on that means it's story time because i'm insane and also it gives me an excuse to use all my flower crowns not that it now not that it's not now that it is not festival season because there are no festivals at the current moment with the with the light <laughs> with everything that's going on in the world um so yeah and you're gonna see like very exaggerated things but yeah i don't know that's kind of what that one is about it's just about the fear of like loving and being in love and not knowing how to react to it and blah 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 so i hope you oh no there's highlighter on my hair um yeah so yeah i hope you guys enjoy it love y'all and yeah i said i love y'all and paz besos y la luna um what that means is peace kisses and the moon um that's gonna be kind of something you hear from me and everything um it means i am sending you very happy vibrations and all my loving and good energy um it's basically like i hope you guys find inner peace I hope you wake up every morning and want to fucking smooch your own face off. And I hope you never, ever stop looking for the moon. And traducción, that means les estoy mandando toda mi paz, que encuentren paz, paz interna. Um, que despierten todos los días, miren al espejo y digan, ¡Muah! pinche chula y chulo y cachondo en whatever estoy and que nunca paren de mirar hacia la luna so yeah i hope you guys like my widow